Okay, so heading straight into this, this is something we actually haven't done in a long time. And what I mean in a long time is I mean a tier list. Yeah, we're going to be ranking the best updates from update 0 to update 5. Let's get straight into it. Update 0. Okay, so update 0, in my opinion, was GPO's prime time. The pure excitement that everybody had getting into the game for the first time. Nobody really knowing how to play the game efficiently. There wasn't any busted, well, there were some really good combos that people made up within the first week but it was fun it wasn't a bunch of bs nobody had devil fruits until like the first three four days in and the people that had it before were just really lucky it was it was fun it was a it was an experience that actually like the community experienced together like if you play gpo solo during update zero and genuinely didn't have fun it was your fault you did that to yourself there was so much access to getting getting a hold of people there was new crews being formed you go on the gpl discord server and in private servers there was people posting private servers links to help with bosses all across the board public servers were lit people weren't really like bounty hunting or killing people for no reason because people were still trying to wrap their head around the game you can make friends with anyone you saw if you saw a person in a public server say two words to them and you two are best friends you're exchanging discords whatever bro gpo update zero was this uh, experience we're never gonna get back is this pure nostalgia we're never gonna get it back okay it is is a feeling you don't get in most games uh, only games that i've had this similar if not better feelings in is probably rogue lineage early rogue lineage days when no one really knew how to play and stuff along those lines and maybe early deep welcome maybe I, I don't i wouldn't say it's the same but maybe early deep welcome but rogue lineage and gpo are really the only games to to have that crazy immersive feeling like when the game initially releases it was it was the best people just huddling around to do bosses you would give people your private server code and every no one would kill each other <laughs> no one would kill each other until like the first month in everyone started getting fruits people start bounty hunting other than that no one would kill each other everyone would act genuinely try to do the boss with each other even though i'm pretty sure only 10 people even got the can get a drop there would be 20 people on the server farming all along and then we would get on the boat rotate to gorilla king and then rotate to buggy ship two two or three ships of people just rotating islands doing bosses with nobody trolling there was no people no one bounty hunting it was genuinely a fun experience that we're never gonna get again we're, ne we're never gonna get that again grand, grand piece online now is is completely not the same game it's a trade simulator update one update one we had santa claus we had anel it was the first grand piece online big update we didn't know the direction the game was gonna go in <laughs> we didn't know we would end up here that's for sure um <laughs> it, there were so many different possibilities so many different speculations for the direction the route the game could take fortunately it didn't, unfortunately i'm gonna emphasize that unfortunately it didn't take the route that you know we would have wanted right but you know it is what it is let me take off this d tier bro um what else happened update one uh and now santa claus santa was fun farming santa was fun um getting a candy cane it was candy cane was the first official event items and the weapons you get from it were like permanently gonna be gone after the event and for you did that properly i'm pretty sure after december or was like mid january they took off santa and then brought back the real bus the real shotgun bus boss for update one right and candy cane was such high value if you had a candy cane you're the luckiest guy in the world and I even farmed, it was the last three days, I remember it was the last three days. I got, ate a pika and I just farmed Santa non-stop until I got the candy cane. Um, I don't know why Foyu doesn't do the seasonal events like that anymore. Foyu will keep an event for for like three, four months. And now he makes it so that you can buy the weapons that you get from the seasonal events. Back then, you couldn't buy a candy cane and you couldn't buy any of the other drops you got from Santa, which made it way more valuable. It made it just better in general. Update 1 was a fun experience. It wasn't the greatest, but it was really fun. Actually, Update 1, hold up, that's not even it. That was the rise of the crews. The crews were getting bigger. You had the Whitebeard Pirates doing giveaways and tournaments and um, making people like rolled in their Discord server. Hey, hey, God tier gaming. 
the the crew the rise of the crews alucard came up jp came up alucard with the foe you gems trolling everyone i ain't gonna lie looking back that was gpi's peak gpi's peak bro gpi's peak i don't know would i put it above update zero yeah the rise of the crews update one rise of the crews oh my gosh people going into public service that were boosted 10 minute ad revenue going in killing people everyone trying to like bro you don't have stuff like that happening in GPO anymore. it's not the same it's really not the same i'm, I'm telling you, if y'all boys didn't experience update zero and update one grand piece online well r.i.p y'all boys are in a afk trade farm simulator i go in trade hub and y'all boys are afk for 10 years it, it, it ruins my mood i won't lie to you <laughs> all right cool update two update two update two update two fisherman island what did we, what else did we get we got the trading the first the first version of devil fruit trading where you'd put it in the machine and then they would have the thing and with the mirror in the middle the wall in the middle and you had to hit the latch and it would lock the room people found a way to get inside the rooms and hack their way into that you know what i'm saying before that people would trade devil fruits by just dropping it i even made the video that made my channel start to go crazy update two update two phoenix came in update 2.5 what happened in update 2.5 update 2.5 was coliseum coliseum came in with that as well colo came hey coliseum wasn't a bad it, it was a fun experience i remember the fun experience coliseum um the first pvp arenas it was genuinely kind of fun genuinely kind of fun for real for real it was good it was good people started getting their devil fruits stolen through the trade thing and the trade island was a hassle to get to don't know what for you was thinking putting it in the middle of nowhere like that but it was it was fun it was genuinely fun but after update two is where in my opinion gpo started to decline wait i put update two fisherman island oh update one is with anel as well okay i'm bugging out yeah we don't need to do that now because you know i put santa claus but yeah no um update two was really fun sorry i had a brain fart moment uh after update two is where we started to see that decline and i'm gonna explain to you why i started declining update three we got marine fold we got white beard what else did we get bro we got elo the 3.3.5 update elo now elo was good sea beast was good cba sea beast was good sea beast was a really good inclusion to the game um elo was okay i didn't farm elo i i genuinely didn't farm elo i just bought all the stuff for elo update uh elo island was was good i'm not gonna lie the island itself wasn't like crazy or anything but was good i forgot to mention the um half update for the valentine's update but no one cares about the valentine's update i'll be so real uh, a lot of people farm there till max and then you can see beast farm really efficiently on the elo island so it was really good now backtracking a bit marine ford marine ford was terrible one of no at that point it was the worst island in the game big for no reason it had multiple floors for no reason it was just a trash island the only highlight of that island was Bizento and whitebeard cape other than that absolutely useless oh remember when we were able to put um our crew logos to the back of the whitebeard cape yeah that's broken till this day that doesn't even work you can't do that anymore so yeah no um the exp you got from marine ford was terrible too you are literally better off people literally figured out you are better off farming fisherman island than going to marine ford nobody well some people did farm marine ford but rp to the people who did waste of time um if you didn't farm marine ford you waited till update 3.5 and sea beast sea beast was the next best thing um to to go on fisherman island and you know sea beast you had to do in groups you could solo it but at the same time sometimes it, it just took too long it wasn't worth it so not bad could have been better bro not bad could have been better sea beast really carried update 3 in general update four update four we got update four we got update four update four now update four was good and bad right and hear me out here uh obviously oh i forgot to mention update 3.5 trading didn't i they added the new trading stuff yeah we're still gonna put it in the same place now update four was i'm gonna be so real it was trash sandora was the most useless island is the most useless island in the game now forget everything else sandora is the most useless island in the game now um you i don't know who leveled up in sandora if you leveled up in sandora congratulations for being a professional time waster now on the day of update four there was a glitch that boosted everyone's levels 
Some people got max level right off the bat. Some people didn't. But we're going to exclude that. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Throw that out the window because that was only for the first couple hours. And so you took that off. Uh, update 4. If you found Sandora, you you love this game so much. You love to you love to mindlessly grind. Um, Kraken was a big, big, big step in the right direction. The Azure stuff. I'm not going to lie. Different colored Kraken armor with different rarities and different trade values is kind of brainless to me because they all give the same you know bonus stats it was it was fun grinding it at first you needed to farm krakens in order to essentially get hockey v2 um which hockey v2 was nice there was a nice little mini game with it hopefully they do stuff along with um improve on stuff like that in the in the future and two sword style was the most unique way to do anything in this game we've ever seen and it was genuinely good um two sword styles probably two sword style and, and kraken was the highlight of update 4 in my opinion and everything else is just kind of irrelevant to me i didn't even farm um crocodile to get the cape <laughs> they didn't farm crocodile to get the cape i traded for it yeah no uh update four jesus christ uh, i want to put in the old brother old brother category now we're not done before we move on to uh update five right there was two things that happened in between all of this we had the halloween the Halloween update and a Christmas update that both happened within update four. Halloween was good. Bar was good. Bar was a really good boss. You had to farm the zombies and put the zombie heads and arms inside the thing to summon him. He was pretty cool. The Jester boss was really annoying and he had so much HP to the point it wasn't funny. The first day I remember farming him for 20 minutes until people actually found a method of farming him a bit quicker. Um, Jester Scythe was really good. Um, but again, you could buy the weapons. So a lot of people just bought the weapons instead of actually mindlessly farming Jester. Because I tell you, boy, it was annoying. Oh my gosh. And it was dark as hell inside that room. Could barely see. Anyways. Uh, and then after that, we had the Christmas update. Which actually wasn't terrible. If you farmed it enough, you could farm devil fruits from it. Uh, but it was terrible. I won't lie to you. The Christmas boss was just so stupid. I hated it with a passion. <laughs> if you didn't have enough people. If you didn't have people that knew what they were doing. You could actually just get caught in the same cycle of that boss over and over. Because they'll kill you. Drag you in. You're not able to run out. ETC. And then within the same update 4. We have had the Cupid. Now if I could put the Cupid in a separate category. I'll put it in fun experience. Cupid Dungeons was a, is an experience that. The first good dungeon dungeon experience i forgot to mention the wave system dungeon stuff that got added update free but we don't need to because it was actually trash uh, i hate farming to wave 25 but cupid dungeons fixed that and made it better uh cupid dungeons is a lot more bearable it's more farmable and you're guaranteed a fruit at the end even if it's not a low gear so it was a step in the right direction but overall we're just gonna put update four in old brother okay um and then we have the update five that's coming out next week <laughs> Y'all yeah, boys, update 5 is next week. Next week, bro. And yeah, update 5 right now is looking good. We have four new fruits. We got some remodels. We got some reskins. We got, um, what's it called? What's the name of the island? Philobart. We got some bosses. We got a bunch of new weapons. And a bunch of other stuff we actually do not know about yet, actually. 5, I heard it's going to be, um, for you made a 5-page documentation on update 5. So there's a lot of things that even the testers don't know about update 5. Yeah. And I don't think we're gonna know about it until like the last day because Foyu doesn't let us know shit. If Foyu doesn't let us know shit, <laughs> y'all boys think it's all sweet being a tester for, until Foyu just pings tester announcements that says go test. What are we testing for you? Give us like a little description on what we should do and how we should do it. But you know, um, update five should be God tier gaming. And I'm gonna put it the lowest form of God tier gaming. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep it fun experience. High tier fun experience. The only reason I say that is because, um, well, let's just say you can't actually see anything. And you know what I mean by that when you play. You can't actually see anything. 